SMT Nation, we back Nation. We've got updates out of Verizon. They've got some service outages across multiple parts of the country. I want to talk about the specific incidents. I also want to talk about an industry topic that we need to discuss. And it has to do with infrastructure, who owns it, and who manages it. Okay, and we're going to talk about T-Mobile, Verizon, and AT&T on that angle. All right, so let's get to the news stories first. I'll be sure to link these articles in the description for you. Also in the description is the real SMT Buy Me A Coffee link. You want to support your creators, show your appreciation for the content, buy us a coffee, link in the description. And of course, if you're looking for a great wireless deal, you're looking for something better in value, you're looking for better customer care, our partner Mint Mobile can give you that. Use our partner link, mintmobile.com forward slash Sneed. Take advantage of the new customer offer for this limited time. The deflation promo is still active. Get a 50% reduction in cost for the unlimited plan. Normally 30 bucks a month. Try $15 per month. All right, great value, great deal. You can't beat it. It's our partner. Use the link in the description. You'll be saving that money and helping out the channel. All right, so let's talk the news. All right, we have major outages in the Memphis area. Memphis is a, I mean, it's a pretty sizable market. I think it's a market where Verizon has a pretty good customer base. So this probably impacted a lot of users. In fact, you know, anytime you get outages for either Verizon, AT&T, or T-Mobile, you're, it's going to impact a lot of people, possibly millions, right? Because the outages are coming from fiber cuts here, yeah, this, this is going to be big, right? So the reason here being fiber cuts, that's the infrastructure. Obviously, fiber circuits are required for internet and data transfer. All right, so you want to call, you want to, you know, video call, uh, you want to listen to your music, you know, through your streaming applications, uh, you want to do video, uh, you know, watching videos on YouTube, like the SMT content, or uh, maybe you're you're uploading content, you're a content creator, uh, or you're watching movies or something like that, you're on Netflix, whatever the case may be, you're going to be disrupted by this. Now, the scale of this upgrade because of the size of the city and the number of people, again, it was probably very impactful. I don't know how long this lasted because I just saw it in my news feed, uh, but it looks like it was, you know, restored and services are fine now. But uh, those that are, you know, impacted by this, obviously uh, not very happy about this. So this is this would explain why you may have had service disruptions in the Memphis area, the the backbone the lifeblood of networks is the wire line that connects the tower sites, right? So that would indicate that was the reason for it. All right. And this happens every so often with all carriers, there's fiber cuts, right? Uh, the next story actually, and it's more of a similar report, uh, central Oregon Verizon users reporting widespread outages. Uh, let's see here. It says primarily in Redmond and Prineville saying that they were having cell service issues uh, Verizon indicated that it was going to solve the issue and fix the problem. I think the problems were first reported on Monday, and uh, they would be resolved early Tuesday morning, which would be right now at the time of this recording. So, <laughs> uh, anyways, um, hopefully that's resolved. Uh, some people have been have been reporting the fix as of Monday, anyways, so that's great. Uh, but I'm I'm looking for the reason here. You know, um, and it indicates a fiber issue, according to Verizon. Okay, so more of an issue there. Now, the the last thing I want to do with today's video, I want to I want to discuss this really important topic. This impacts everybody from Verizon customers to T-Mobile and AT&T customers. the The issue with fiber cuts sometimes is not in the control of the carrier, right? Sometimes these fiber cuts happen in locations in these you know wireline networks which are hosting and transmitting the backbone of the network access for the carriers there's nothing they can do until those fiber cuts get repaired the fiber gets replaced whatever the case may be it has to be serviced which means the problem has to be identified then the problem needs the attention from you know the individuals doing the repairs and the fixes which means there are laborers that need to go out identify the problem locate it and then do the fixes themselves, which can take hours. And sometimes problems become so 
profound or difficult that it can take more than a day or more. Okay, so, th and none of this the carrier can really do anything about, right? So when it's fiber cuts, all right, I'm not talking about a tower going down, a radio or an antenna going down on the tower site. We're talking about the backbone of the network. There is one thing that does offer an advantage, and that is if the carrier, Verizon, AT&T, own those fiber circuits to their point. Again, it, the problems could be behind their fiber circuits, right? It, it might be before their fiber circuits. But looking at this from an owner standpoint, if you have your own engineers, if you have your own technicians, they can be more timely and, and you're not at the mercy of another company having to contract and do the repairs, which could take hours or days, as stated before. In this case, I think this is what we, we are starting to see with Verizon. They, they are experiencing the fiber cuts, but we're starting to see that the repair times and the resolution times are actually improving. Typically, these outages don't last too long, which is good. Right? That's good for the end user, the consumer. So the, the one thing I will say is that without T-Mobile being kind of like the fiber owner operator, the, the one that maintains it, they're at the mercy of the fiber providers if something was to happen. And of course, with enterprise accounts and big business accounts like a carrier, T-Mobile, Verizon, AT&T, the response time is usually pretty quick, but things can take more time when there's more steps involved. And that could be the difference between customers coming or going, right? If, if, a, if a carrier is known for having outages and being slow to resolve connectivity issues, people will move. So this is definitely a big factor in people making their purchasing decisions whether or not to go to a carrier, stay with a carrier, or leave for someone else, right? So this is, a again, just kind of a news update. I Nobody mentioned this to me. Nobody tagged me on it. You know, if you guys want more updates like this, sometimes you got to just hit me on Twitter. There's a link in the description for our Twitter page. Email me. You know, let me know what's going on in your area because sometimes it's big enough it might impact people, and they're looking for answers. Uh, so sometimes I just have to wait for this to hit my news feed. Right, I can't always be up on everything, but uh, that's what was going on with Verizon in these locations. That's typically what we're seeing for fixes and how things proceed in, in repairing these types of fiber cuts. Again, this is different than tower site issues. This is the backbone and the data transfer, you know, the wireline networks that most of the time carriers can't really control sometimes. But what they can control, it is good to be the owner, uh, kind of a topic that I think is worth discussing so in the comment section tell me if you were impacted in these by these fiber cuts in these uh, network issues in these markets uh, let me know how long you had issues with connectivity how long it took to restore uh, tell me about the frequency of your carriers outages when you do experience them love to hear what you have to say you all the voice of the people the smt nation let your voice be heard